Hi everyone. Welcome to True Path Astrology. This is Rajini. Well, I often get asked by some people as to why they face obstacles in their life at every step. Well, I'm sure some of you may have a very good life, everything going so well for you, uh, everything you want in life uh, falls on your lap easily without you having to work too hard for it. But uh, all of a sudden, at one point of time, you're starting to experience that you are facing um, hurdles every step of the way. And some simplest of things which you took it for granted is uh, hard uh, to come by now. What happened? What went wrong? That's the question you may be asking. Well, there is a solution that I have for you uh, to have the luck factor coming to you from all angles at all times. So pay very close attention and uh, try this simple remedy and you will start to feel that the obstacles that you're facing are fading away as quickly as they come into your, uh, uh, come into your life. Well, I will not go into too much of uh, astrological reasons here. I just want you to understand two simple things for this to work in your life. First reason for your luck not favoring you or the reason for you facing obstacles every step of the way in your life is uh, somehow connected to the ninth and sixth houses in your birth chart. The second reason is how your Jupiter in your birth chart is placed. So these are the two things I want you to understand. The reason for the obstacles in your life is it may be likely that your ninth house or the sign in your ninth house or the planet sitting in the ninth house may not be well-placed. It is also possible that your Jupiter in the chart may not be well-placed. Ninth house is the house of luck and fortune. Ninth also denotes your father or even your teacher, or you can say mentor. And sixth house in your chart is the house of um, obstacles. If you try to understand these two houses, then you will easily understand why you're facing obstacles in your life. Let me explain. So whenever you've not been respecting your father or your mentor or your teacher, your luck will not be favoring you. You are creating your own dis destiny by uh, disrespecting your father or your teacher and you're attracting obstacles in your life, even without your knowledge. Well, if, we, if you've been disrespectful to your father, I bet you could be facing some challenges in your career too. The promotion that you were expecting may not be coming through for you easily. Things may not be going easy at your work for some reason. This is because the sixth house in your chart is the 10th house from the ninth house. Now, 10th is the house of your career and profession. So by disrespecting your father, you, are, you activated the ninth house. And when you activate the ninth house, six house of obstacles get activated automatically without you being uh, aware of this connection. Now, we all come into our life with a certain measure of luck allotted to us, all of us. Uh, it's obvious that when you disrespect your father or your guru or your mentor, you are depleting some amount of luck you've been allotted. That's what it means. Well, it's possible that you may have disrespected your father. You may have made him unhappy somehow or the other. You may not have been kind to your mentor. Whether we know it or not, the ninth house is connected to the sixth house of obstacles and you start to see that your obstacles get activated and you start to see hurdles in your life. This is how we play with our destiny without us um, being aware of it. Now, this is irrespective of what planets you have in the ninth house and whatever sign you have in the ninth house. Jupiter is the natural uh, ruler of the ninth house in the zodiac chart, natural zodiac chart, and Jupiter is also the karaka of the ninth house. So you may ask, how do you improve your ninth house? How do you improve your Jupiter in your chart? 
the best remedy is to start imparting your knowledge to others free of cost. The other thing you can do is donate books generously and spread the knowledge. Now, Jupiter denotes knowledge, or you can even start reading books daily. I mean, books on spirituality. Read daily to improve your uh, own knowledge. Even best is to start treating your father with respect, be kind to him, assist him, and be of help to him, serve him. The same thing goes for your mentor. Now, by doing this, you're activating your ninth house in a good way. You are forcing the luck to manifest in your life. Now, when you start doing this, just see how your life improves and how you will attract luck and fortune coming to you to serve you in your life. Now, I'm sure all the obstacles you were facing will fade away and you will start to see good times in your life uh, starting right now when you start applying this principle. Now, of course, ninth house and the sixth houses denote so many other things and much more than just the luck and obstacles that I talked about here. But here I use the example of ninth and sixth house just to illustrate the connection between the two with respect to luck and obstacles, just to prove a point. So I hope, I hope you try this remedy and do let me know in the comment section how your life has improved by following this simple remedy. Now, I would like to thank all the viewers who have already subscribed to my channel. And those who are here for the first time, uh, may I please request you to like, share, and subscribe. That means a lot to me. And thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.